Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some sinking city. Picking up where we left off. We just arrived here to see Mr. Johan dead. 38 revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. And it appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. I mean, depending on which shot was first, it's a quick death. Oh, uh... This one. Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. Okay, so... Somebody was being threatened to kill this guy. Strange Aeons? Philosophical meeting, okay. Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. I mean, a lot of things can, like, a lot of As numbers can do that. our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. I mean, if you're going by material as in, like, things you own, then yeah, obviously, if all, everything you own gets destroyed, you can still be alive. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles, yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. Alright, I got nothing on that one. Pierre de Lalande. Repercussions and Reflections. Never heard of it. Or the author, but that's not really a surprise. Don't really read philosophy stories. You're a humble servant. Theurgy of math. Nothing on that one either. Le philosophe in canu. Selection of maxims and aphorisms. Don't even know what a maxim or an aphorism is, is, is so. Alright. So there is some kind of philosophy club that met here. Uh... I mean, besides it being in the same building, uh, it doesn't really seem to have much of a uh, connection. You know, I am curious why I was allowed in here so easily, when clearly the police have already been here, because they have evidence markers out already, like... The bloodstains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Repeat the verse after me. Gnaya ilya ogn ogn glui has thor fatharane ungi bunma. Sure. That's. No, I think we got a. Yeah, cognition here. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Okay. Okay, well, I'm assuming that's the first one, and this is the last one. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you... Ah! Okay. Police? Uh, Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Uh, please send help! Okay. All right, well, this should be easy Let's see what I... Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you, you this... Can't you two. see we are having a... Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. Alright, well, all evidence collected. So let's just calmly walk out, right?
Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderburg. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Yeah. I mean, the guy did give that dude his hat, but the dude didn't really look like me for the eyewitness to pick me out of a lineup or anything. So unless the only thing he knows is my fucking hat. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Oh, I do remember him. He was the dude outside that mansion, right? With, like, the doppelganger guy? Weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me... How did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, this way out? Yeah, it is. Please, sir. My sister's missing, and nobody will help me find her. Sorry, I can't help you right now. Huh? Shouldn't have got my hopes up. You're just like all the others. But I'll be here if you change your mind. Yeah, just let me clear myself of murder, and you then I'll come help you. brown nosing carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. I mean, I'll admit that I break into places. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some lateral thinking. But it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Well, I mean, I have to admit that I break into houses, and ransack might be a bit strong of a word, but I'll accept it, you know, it, you know. I can't really say that it's entirely inaccurate. Um, where was the Carpenter Manor? It's got to be one of these ones that are, like, marked, right? It's not this one, is it? Yeah, no, that's Blackwood. Okay, Carpenter Manor is right there. Easy. Um, but I mean... And, you know, obviously, I do stroll the streets with a loaded gun. I don't wave it at passersby or anything, though. I mean, the only time I've ever pulled out my gun on the street is when I was being attacked by big monsters. Or maybe not so big, but, you know, still monsters. 
it still counts. Um, so, I mean... Ooh, although I did shoot that one cop. But that's not my fault. That cop shot at me first. Although, because, like, when I first turned this on today to record, um, I had to re... I restarted my Xbox for some reason at some point, right? So it was no longer, like, in rest... Or in, like, the, um, the quick resume function. Like, it was no longer in quick resume there. Um... So it loaded me, but for some reason, instead of loading me back into the theater where we had ended it, it loaded me all the way, I don't remember which one, but in like one of the, fa oh, it loaded me here, Salvation, no, here, this one, the Shell's West for some reason, which is even weirder because that isn't even the last fast travel that we were at, because I do believe that I fast traveled to Reed Heights South and then went around so that I could avoid hitting the infested area because I at least knew that path was clear but I wasn't sure about these lower paths right or well like this path here this path obviously wouldn't be clear but I knew the north one was clear so I did that so like if anything it should have spawned me here but for some reason it spawned me at the fast travel we used instead of the fast travel we ended at but anyway over to the carpenter manor now I imagine that it doesn't matter which, uh... Don't you have work to do? I imagine it... What the fuck? Isn't the guy, the guy who is just at the police station? Weird. But anyway, I imagine it doesn't matter which one you helped, because, uh... The way he was talking, he just said Mr. Carpenter and didn't specify a name. Mr. Carpenter. Glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. I didn't see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out Probably of jail. Probably should have helped the son. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. But I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah... Another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. Thank you. I should go. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool for sticky situations. Make good use of it. Will do. Thanks. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming that it's just a submachine gun. So the fact that, like, we weren't supposed to get a submachine gun in town now explains why it's been so fucking good all game. Because <laughs> it's a very late game weapon. But anyway. Uh, outside of that, I'm guessing by the way he talked that we're supposed to be going to the... Um, newspaper office because he gave us read heights and then he mentioned the newspaper which is this one yeah so i'm assuming that that was like uh go look up the interviews clue like you know i would say it's like nudging you towards that but it's basically slapping you in the face with it <laughs> at that point i mean I don't know how close we are to the end of this game. I should. Because every once in a while I do look at the... The walkthrough that I found. To, you know, check to see if there's new side quests that have opened up. Or if I missed something. And I've missed a lot. I mean, I already have to. I mean, there's a lot of things where it requires... Uh, to go both paths. Uh, officials... 
interviews, and you said you lived in Reed Heights. No? Ah, there you go. Find the witness. Today, our correspondent had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Reed Heights, all for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising political figures in Oakmont, Pierce's property. An apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Helog Street. Definitely a grand sight, but Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure he is assure us he is in touch with the needs of the humble man, meeting regularly with community leaders. Sure. Alright. Uh, in Eastern Reed Heights on Museum Avenue. Between Communion and Helog, so somewhere around here. And I got a fast travel point relatively close. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, because we've had, like, a few options that have, uh, have been both options get you an achievement. And I think there was, has even been a couple of options that we just didn't take that also got you an achievement. And the one we took didn't, but, you know, shit happens. Uh, I'm not sure how many of that is side cases, though. Because the thing is, is I am very tempted um, to start a new game already. Because I do, I think, anyway. Yeah, like, I do have multiple save slots. So, like, I could start a new game and play through it and just not play further, you know? Because, like, it is one where I wouldn't really have to go through the uh, any of the side missions that we've done. Because, like, very few, if any of them, I think, had achievements tied to more than just completing them. I'm going to guess it's this giant building here, if this is the right street. No? Not the big building with the flag, eh? Um, oh, maybe that one. It's not very grand, though. Oh, well, it's got to be this one, though. Oh, well, this looks about right. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Um. But, yeah, I'm very tempted to do that and play through and get all the other ones. Just so that, like, at the end of the Let's Play, we can end it with, uh, with all the achievements. Because I do believe that nothing you do throughout the game changes the ending like this is one of those games where it gives you the Based on of past choice. experience leaving it here was not the best idea the smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors i mean i can hear noises that sound like it but it, i see that nothing spawned um hey buddy <laughs> Um, but yeah, nothing you do changes. It must be that, taking right? this election campaign very seriously. Uh, cause yeah, like from what I've read, just at the end of the game, you're given three choices. Each choice is a different ending, but nothing you do beforehand affects whether or not those choices do. I don't know how much changes like within the endings based on your previous choices, but the, like the choices themselves don't change. Uh, Milton, my earnest friend. It's been a while since we last met, and I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you to pay me a visit. How about we finally hold that seance we've been talking about for so long? Expect to see you at the Crown Theater soon. Warmly yours, Johan. Mm. Okay. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? I mean, if you took the title of a book to mean that's what you were aiming for, I've got some really weird goals in mind. Uh, from this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakmont first. Every decision uh, made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers and innsmouthers will be made to benefit the people of Oakmont. We must protect the boundaries of our city from both outsiders and the forces of nature. Let's make Oakmont great again. I mean, if you're running a place, that is what you need to do. You need to worry about your people first like your area your region first right uh while Mil milton pierce may not yet be fully fledged member of the oakmont Legis legislature 
He has already proven his fitness for the role during his election campaign, not only in word, but also in deed. First, Mr. Pierce was has prepared and put into operation a new water supply project for Oakmont. He is also actively engaged in greening of the city, planting trees in suburban areas, and proposing new park spaces for recreation and community events, because that's what you need during a flooded monster attack. Uh, sec although I guess this might be from before that, I don't know. Second, his campaign promises seem to have struck a chord with the public. Most notably, Pierce has advocated for the construction of a wall around Oakmont to prevent the influx of newcomers. Is it just hyperbole, or could Pierce really do it? We'll find out if or when he wins the election. Now, I don't know, could they even build a wall with the way shit is in this city? I mean, it seems like it's basically completely flooded all the way around the city. But to be fair, I don't remember which state this is in. Scale of feet and meters, but I don't think it says anywhere. I mean, I know that they've said it in the game, but I don't know where it is. But there seems to be docks on like everything, so I don't know what good a wall would do for this. Like, a wall works for land based countries or like across like land borders and that. Uh, cause you know, obviously it provides an obstacle, which at the very least limits, it's obviously not going to be completely stop people from coming over it, under it, around it, whatever, finding ways through it. Because I mean, you know, people are innovative, you know, they'll find a way, but like it still limits it. But it, I don't know how much that would be useful on in like in well what seems to be an island. Although this road over here, like this seems like the road would just continue this way. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much use that would be on an Someone island. Got changed here in a hurry. Like it probably wouldn't be useless, but I don't know if it would be as useful. Emptier than a banker's heart. As if it were a uh, a land border, as opposed to a you know ocean. I definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Oh, well, I guess we got our cognition. Uh, despite all the differences we might have had in the past, I can't but admit that today I see you as one of the most promising candidates for mayor. Oakmont needs a strong hand, which you surely can provide. Don't expect any financial support from my side. I believe one running for mayor should possess the requisite financial means, but otherwise you will have my full assistance. That's fair. But at the same time, you know, sometimes people who, you know, would be good for a position don't necessarily have the... The shape oh. is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Well, that's not good, because that's one of those virtual daggers. Yep. On behalf of our community, I want to express a huge gratitude for everything you do for us. Very few of the stakeholders here show compassion to the Innsmouth descendants, and you are a rare exception. Please accept this dagger as a sign of our friendship and prove that while we maintain this connection, no one from our side will dare to harm you. Anna Cavendish. All right, well, that's not good if he's working with the EOD. I mean, there's some fucking crazy sons of bitches. Can I go in there? No. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert, just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Okay. And then he took a drink, sure. Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. All right. Well, the, the blood was spurting out. Of I me. don't really Robert have any way to out. know when he decided to oh, take the drink, but I'll just assume that. that he took Where's the drink get before these taking out of my sight, to steady Robert. himself. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? I mean, if it was me, I probably would have changed and then took the drink, but... He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Okay, that's key evidence. 
Hey, all evidence. Nice. All right, so we went to Sea Hall, but let's see. Uh, no alibi. Blood spatter. Bloody clothes in Pearson's house can be used as evidence against him. Still, I'll need something more to accuse him. This one? Yeah, I didn't think so. Whoops. But well, whatever. So I wonder, I, I doubt it, but I wonder if, uh, if I had done the room first and then went downstairs, if it would have spawned monsters. Because, like, obviously, if you're, if you go to the room that gives you the direction to go downstairs, my, uh, refusal to go where the game wants me to go in order, uh, may have just came in handy there. I'm not going to go back to the basement, obviously, uh, to see if it'll, if it would then spawn a monster, but I doubt it, if I'm being honest, because, I mean, it's possible, but so far in this game, it seems like if they're going to spawn a monster, they're just going to spawn them, you know? All right, let's see what good old Milton has to say for himself. Oh, Milton. Where are you, prick? You look about right. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Moners know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? Because you're a sorry. politician. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. I could just kill you, you know. Great idea. Kill the only witness while being investigated for murder. I'm sure the police will understand. That's reasonable. But you're assuming, after all I've seen and done in this damn place, I still listen to reason. Threatening a mayoral candidate. You truly are a newcomer. How could you propose such a thing? Against your own mother, no less. You're a heartless monster. I won't do it. Don't get emotional, Reed. Go for a walk, breathe the salty air, then picture your execution. Perhaps with some perspective, you'll reconsider. I doubt it. Whatever you say, sir. I'll just leave you this bottle and her address anyway. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Hmm. I wonder if I can just pop him, but he is... Correct, and that killing the only witness wouldn't be good. All right. It seems to want me to, uh... Milton Pierce to sell out. 
Milton Pierce is correct. The man who shot Vanderberg is a newcomer. I learned that he married recently and was forced to commit the crime out of fear for his family. There should be a marriage license somewhere that may help me find him. Okay, well, if the marriage license, that should be at City Hall, right? So, newcomers after the flood uh, that would be the legal documents, right? Uh, hereby certify at Glenn Gordon Byers and Evelyn Catherine Lane residing at the Revenue House on the corner of whatever were united in marriage in accordance with okay. the okay, So now we got the marriage license. So now we can either let's see, the lives in Old Grove. Beacon Street near Bullock Street. Marcus Sentry Windhaf Bullock oh, way up here. And then our other mark uh, Eastern Shells. Oh, whoops. Uh, corner of Powder House and or Orchard. Uh, there's Powder House. Freedom, Moreland, Ambrose, Orchard. So, right about here. Alright, both of those right next to fucking last travel points, which is nice. Alright, we're gonna go see his mother. I still don't plan on killing her. But I want to go see if we can talk to her in, like, I don't know, do something else, you know? I, I don't know what, but, like, if we could, like, get her to, I don't know, turn on her son, I guess. Alright, so she should be. Straight ahead somewhere. Uh, big. Oh, there we go. Probably this house, right? <sighs> knock, knock. Agatha Pierce, I presume. Uh, the name's Charles Reed. I'm a PI. Good day, young man. What's your business? There's a matter that I'd like to discuss. It concerns your son, Milton. Oh no. What's happened? Is he okay? I'm afraid this may take some time to explain. Perhaps you have something to, uh, wet my whistle. Oh, fear not. I keep my cellar stocked for just such occasions. Would you kindly fetch us some Chianti from the cellar? You look more than capable. Ma'am, that's a most generous offer. So why do I sense a quid pro quo? Oh, no, no. Well, I did hear something rustling around, but I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Yeah, leave it to me. Here are the keys. Pick any bottle, as long as it's Chianti. And don't shy away from the good stuff. It's there to be shared with guests like yourself. Milton sent me here to kill you. Milton? No, it can't be. Please, Mr. Reed, you must have it wrong. Look, it's the truth. He wanted his inheritance and needed your death to look natural. Poison was his solution. No! I don't believe you! Please go away! I... I feel sick! Oh. Okay. Well, that's all evidence collected. Now, I could go to the basement and see what else is down there, but I think I'm fairly good on everything, right? Oh, apparently I could make a couple of bullets. 
but everything else is full. Oops. And considering what I just made, odds are. Uh, what's the. Did I only open the one thing here, or was there two? I can't remember. I don't know. What's that? Oh, more bullets. <sighs> the door won't budge. Oh, I can't go now anyway, because I already told her. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, but I'm assuming that you go, you get the ball of Chianti, and then you poison her. That would be my guess. But hey, I mean, we did warn her. It's like, hey, your dickhead son wants you dead. Now, I imagine that it would be significantly easier for me to clear myself if I, uh... Had killed her, but I mean... She didn't seem like a bad person. I mean, I don't know anything about her, but, you know, in the five second conversation that we had, she didn't want, she didn't make me want to kill her, so I didn't, you know. I went there reluctant, and she didn't give me a reason, so, you know, it's about right. 